Hi there, my name is Disney Engineer, and today we're watching the Wicked trailer so I can give you my two cents. Am I a musical person? Yes. Am I anyone with an acclaimed background in musicals? No. So if you're a basic bitch like me and you wanted to know what my opinions were, if they were the same and aligned with yours, let's fucking see. Also, if you want to stick around after I bought, got a bunch of videos talking about Britney Spears, you give them a whirl. Shit snarl. My two cents. Too long, don't read. I am someone that every time Wicked comes to town when it was um, on tour, I saw it three times would go out of my way to get tickets so that I could see it, see it with my family, or bring someone that I love to, to see it. It's a nice feeling to watch it for the first time with someone. I'm not interested in seeing this. It's just what it is. I, I feel bad. Like, I've been excited for this movie. I was hoping this movie would come out ever since, like, I saw Wicked the second or first time. I have no inclination to see this movie. And I love all the fucking songs. Popular is my favorite song. I love Kristen Chenoweth's songs in Wicked. I think if you're not going to use Kristen Chenoweth, don't get someone who's going to copy her 100%. No offense to Ariana. I said a lot in some other reviews, but I think the Ariana Grande tried so much to sound like Kristen Chenoweth. And if you don't know, Kristen Chenoweth is the originator of the role. She's the person that made this role famous. I feel like she really missed an opportunity to bring what she had to the role. This is a Broadway musical that's been out for, I think, about more than 10 years now. And a lot of people try to copy Kristen Chenoweth. I like the people that bring their own kind of personality to the role because every single time that someone takes on the mantle, it's kind of like a new Spider-Man. You're not Peter Parker. You, you. You Miles Morales, so be Miles Morales. So that's what I feel like is lacking. Quite honestly, the scandal with Ariana Grande and the home wrecking is more something I'm interested in than this fucking adaptation, which says a fucking lot. The girl who plays Elphaba, I think she does a better job. Interested to see how she would take the role because she doesn't give Adina Menzel. She's not blowing me away either, so. Also, they look like different ages. Like, she looks hella older and Ariana looks like, I don't fucking know, she looks like a different race and I can't even fucking, like, gauge her age at this point. I honestly think this should have been animated. I think the best adaptation of Wicked would have been a really nice um, animated one. Not for children, but just animated because Dina Menzel and Kristen Chenoweth have aged out, obviously. Amazing what they did and their voice and vocal chemistry is just so good. When someone makes a Broadway musical, the writer, they'll pick actresses and like it's a big ass fucking deal who they pick to be the first person that performs the iteration of the character. Dina Menzel is kind of like the fucking goat. She's the original Maureen from Rent and she's the original Alfalba from Wicked. Kristen Chenoweth is widely known for being the first Glinda. So that's what I mean by originated. This is a cash grab. You know what I mean? Like you missed your chance and like, yeah, you think they're old, but who are you making this musical for? Plus, this trailer confuses me because it seems like this is a vie or an attempt to get the general public. But what you've done is you've actually added a lot of elements that are for the musical goers or the people who go Broadway shows. If you're trying to woo people like me who like Broadway shows. Give us the bitches that we wanted. I just don't think they're going to get a lot of new people or they're going to get a lot of new people who are like, I knew I didn't like musicals, which it didn't have to be like that. Also, I'm not going to finish it, but I've already watched like a whole turn already. They pretty much give like the whole fucking synopsis of the whole Broadway play in the trailer because they're like, oh, we're really afraid people aren't going to want to go. I mean, it leaves very little. I enjoyed it the first time because I didn't know the story. And after I watched it, I was like, oh, shit, that was like real fucking insane and shit. So. I mean, I'm honestly not going to pay extended surcharge and fees to go see this in theaters unless someone wants to pay for my ticket. Then I'll fucking go. I mean, a bitch is not going to deny a free ticket. But no, I wouldn't pay for this out of my own pocket. I mean, I'm open-minded. I mean, Ariana Grande could probably surprise me. She probably won't, but she could. And, you know, I'll eat my fucking words. Like, if I watch it, I'm like, oh my god, I'm blown away because art is so beautiful to me that I don't give a fuck how much I hate you. You did a good-ass job. You did a good-ass job. I'm not going to lie to you. But right now it doesn't look good. So remember to like, subscribe, whatever the fuck. It helps my page because people can't find it. Yeah, for real. If you like this, let me know in the comments and I'll do more stuff like this. And if you don't interact, I'll know. The rejection will be deafening. I mean, the silence is deafening. Crickets, crickets. And I'm just like, all right, well, fuck, I'm not gonna do that again.